Japan is on the verge of a fire sale of hundreds of billions of U.S. debt that could crash treasury markets already teetering on the edge. Yet another exciting day for de-dollarization. The news comes from the Wall Street Journal, who writes that the state-owned government pension investment fund, which holds Social Security reserves of nearly every Japanese worker, is poised to sell down its $800 billion stack of dollar assets and direct the money to domestic bonds and equities, perhaps in the hopes of propping up Japan's asset markets long enough to limp to the next crisis. The party for de-dollarization does not stop at Japan's pensions. Just two weeks ago, Japan's number five bank, Norin Chiyukin, announced that they'll be selling up to $63 billion in treasuries. The even larger Japan Post Bank could face even bigger dollar sell-offs given its get-rich-or-die-trying portfolio, including $200 billion in mainly U.S. bonds and $350 billion in, quote, investment trusts that, once again, are predominantly in U.S. bonds and private equity. Considering that major banks in Japan also tend to mimic each other, there are probably more dollar fire sales on the way. As for the dollar, if Japan is about to flip to mass seller, that knocks out the single biggest overseas holder of U.S. debt, at a time when the number two holder, China, is already selling dollars hand over fist, down by about a third in the past five years. And what if there's not enough buyers for U.S. debt? Easy. Prices crash and interest rates soar.